we're on um, one of the neighbouring farms, Makala National Park, which is just behind us. This is a cattle farm, um, and we're processing bird 86. This is the fifth day of a ringing and monitoring and tagging programme. And you can see the team uh, working behind us here with the bird. Hopefully it's going to be of a, a suitable size so we can put uh, wing tags on the bird. Uh, after that, we'll safely get it back into the nest. Um, we will nip over here and see what's going on. Nicely processed. Back in the bucket. Keep yet. Okay. The Hawk Conservancy team are at Dronfield Nature Reserve. Um, we're on bird 18 of the weekend. Um, we're on a newly burnt area, a um, big area that has been burnt recently, so there's a lot of animals around us. It's very windy, you may be able to hear it, hence I'm sitting inside the vehicle. Dronfield Nature Reserve is part of a large colony of birds that go around Kimberley. Previously we were at Macala National Park um, and some of the neighbouring farms. In total, the Hawken 70 team would have handled around about 150 critically endangered African white backed vulture chicks. And this ringing monitoring program on Dronfield has been going on for, this is the 26th year of this, so very important that this colony is um, well looked after. Um, we monitor exactly what's happening, see where, where they're going. Um, there's an awful lot of problems uh, that these birds face in the world, with poisoning being the number one problem. Power lines, problems with dams, Mutu, which is African witchcraft, um, and uh, problems with land as well. A lot of this beautiful uh, landscape that we're in with these umbrella trees in several parts are being ripped out. So, yet another problem facing these wonderful birds. So, just processing the last bird, it was a terrible tree to climb. Tearing's up the tree now. Thank you. 